Welcome to our class for today. Civic education is what we are taking and we are entering a new topic, a rule of law. Remember we discussed the two tiers of governance and we've seen what a federation is. We've seen the relationship between the three tiers of government that exists in a federation. And we equally see the different functions each of these tiers of government perform for its citizenry. We are moving on to another topic in our civic education class, which is the rule of law. What does the rule of law mean? What are the benefits that come as a result of this? These are the two objectives we are going to cover in this class. Benefits of the rule of law and what is the rule of law. The rule of law can be said to be authority and influence of law in society. Especially when viewed as a constraint on individual and institutional behavior. The principle whereby all members of a society, including those in government, are considered equally subject to public disclosed legal codes and process. So, the rule of law has to do with where everybody is considered being under the law and nobody is above the law. Whether you are in government or you are a mere citizen, whether you hold authority or you don't hold authority, the rule of law implies that all of us come under the same law processes and influence and that every human, every person that belongs to the state, that belongs to the country, is subject to obey the law and is subject to be under the law and that nobody is above the law and that nobody is said to be um, taken out of the law system. So the rule of law means that the laws of the land rules in every individual. Let me put it that way. The law of the land rules in all persons, all individuals, all members of the country. The law rules in them. You're not above the law. You are not below the law. Everyone is equal. Whether you are in governance, whether you are not in governance, whoever you are, you are under the law. So if you look at this definition by Wikipedia, it tells us that it is the authority and influence of law in society, especially when viewed as a constraint on individual and institution. Look at that word. Individual and institution. So whether it is an individual entity or an institutional entity, the law holds its course in every aspect of our life or every aspect of our dealings in life. Then it goes further to tell us that the principle whereby all members of a society, including those in government, are considered equally subject to public disclosure, legal codes and principles. Not these two words, legal codes and principles. Disclose, uh, disclose to legal code and process or principles. Legal code and process or principles. So, the legal code and processes that guides an individual is the same that guides an institution and it is the same that guides everybody whether in governance or not in governance so you see that the rule of law puts everybody in equilibrium puts everybody in equity put everybody in an equal rights that no human being is more superior more equal to the other that's the principle of the rule of law and if that principle is hold on to in the real world in the real society in the real country, the world will be a better place where there is not going to be a discrimination of the higher class, the middle class, and the lower class. So, that is what the rule of law is. 
Now, what are the benefits that come as a result of following the rule of law? Practicing the rule of law. Now, let's go to the next objective, which is benefits of the rule of law. See the benefits of the rule of law. Remember, I told you this class is part one. If you have not subscribed to the channel and you're on this channel, you like what we do here, you think you will benefit from what we do. What are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and subscribe so that anytime we upload a new video, you will be notified. Now let's go on to the benefits of the rule of law. One, I'm going to talk about five benefits of the rule of law in this class. There are other benefits. Feel free to put more in the comment box. I always tell you this is in dialogue class, a class between you and I where we share our views and our mind. So feel free, go dialogue with me in the comment box. Tell me more about what you know about the rule of law, the benefits you think we can derive and benefits from it. I'm going to talk about five. Tell me more about what you think. The first one is it promotes the freedom of the judiciary. Enhance the freedom of the individual. Promotes qualitative life. Preserves the constitution. Then prevents dictatorship. Let's take them one at a time. The very first one. Promotes the freedom of the judiciary. We have the executive arm of government. We have the legislative arm of government. And we have the judiciary arm of government. The judiciary arm of government has its own freedom to operate here. Whereby the judiciary is not influenced by any person, either in government, governance or anywhere. They have the sole rights to carry out their functionality to the country. And nobody has the right for them not to execute their legal rights. And so the judiciary helps to promote the rule of law because they are part of the law that maintains the proper living condition of the nation. They are the last hope of the common man. And so the judiciary is not influenced. The rule of law makes it possible for no one to come interfere with the judiciary. So they have freedom to operate and carry out its functionalities. Then the second one is enhance the freedom of the individual. Every individual has his rights, rights to life, rights to movement, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, and the rest of the freedom. If you want to watch our class where I discuss the rights and freedom of a citizen, please navigate through the channel. It's on civic education. We have some in um, your JSS1 class and some in this your JSS2 class. You will see the rights and freedom of an individual that belongs to a country, most especially our country in Nigeria. I discussed that in depth in previous classes. So go through the channel. Now we have the third one. Promotes quantitative or qualitative life. Promotes qualitative life. Uh, life. That every human, every person that belongs to the country have the right to benefit from social welfare. They need to benefit from good quality life uh, amenities. For example, they have the right to have um, minimum standard of living, good road, communication, social welfare packages, anything that will make life better, good, healthy for the individuals or members belonging to the country. That humans that belong to the country requires to have qualitative life. Yeah, the quality of their life should be at the speak because they are people belonging to the state. And so it promotes qualitative life for its citizenry. That is what the rule of law promotes. And then the fourth one 
preserves the constitution, that every member of the country knows that the constitution is the legal law that bounds in or, or that uh, bounds all citizens or every individual belonging to the country. And so the constitution is respected, implemented, followed as it has been laid and nobody has the right to go against the constitution because, because it becomes a legal book, a legal blueprint that every individual, whether in governance or not, must follow. Then the last is prevent dictatorship. Dictatorship that you have the sole right to impose your view, opinion on the citizen because you are in governance. That you can cut corners and bring in so many unaccepted constitutional, um, will I say, unconstitutional activities into the governance of the country. Rule of law go against that. And so it has to prevent dictatorship because it lets you know that nobody is above the law. Whether you are in governance or not, you are within the framework of the law and the law catches up with you if you go against it. If you live within the borders of the law, you're going to benefit. So the rule of law has been very helpful in many ways. So we have seen the benefits I mentioned five: promote freedom of the judiciary, enhance freedom of uh, uh, freedom of the individual, promote qualitative life for its citizens, preserve the constitution of the nation, and then prevent dictatorship from those who are in governance that wants to be dictators of how the governance of the country works. So we have seen what the rule of law is and we have seen the benefits. This is the part one of the rule of law. We will go into other aspects of the rule of law. Thank you for dropping by on our part one of the rule of law. If you've not watched the class on Federation, go and watch it. We have about four parts. This class will still take many more parts. So follow along as we take the classes. Please, if you have questions, go ask below the comment box. I will interact with you there. If there is something that is not clear, please let me know. Areas you want us to improve, please let me know. If you like what you do here and you want to support the channel, comment below the comment box. I will get across to you. It's my pleasure always being here and I will be here in our next class. Thank you for being here.